Welcome everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to create a simple and dynamic search box that you can use to retrieve information from your data set. So you don't have to worry about scrolling from one point to the other in order to find anything within your data set. So first you go to your data set and once you come to your data set, just select everything and insert a table. So press Ctrl T to, to create a table. After creating the table, just click on table design. I'll tick off the filter button and I'll come to table styles to choose a style for this table. After then, you come over to where you have table name and create a name for your table. So the name of my own table is student. So the next thing you can create is name ranges for the columns in your table. So you can press Ctrl plus Shift plus F3 in order to create name ranges for your columns when you're done with that you can now come over to where you have search data under here i'll click on insert tab i want to first insert a shape so i'm going to insert this shape i'm just going to draw this shape over here i'm going to place this shape right here adjust it a little bit and i'll come back and click on shape format under shape styles i'm going to choose this style for my shape then the next thing I'm going to do is click back on insert tab, click on pictures and click on stock images. Once the stock images load, I'm going to click on icon and over here I'm going to type search. Then I'm going to click the search icon that I want and click insert. Once I insert this search icon, I'll just readjust it so I can bring it over here. So I'm just going to readjust it just a little bit. After which I'll just click on graphics format and click here graphic styles to change the style. So this is just basically for beautification. Once I'm done with that, I'll come to developer tab, click on it. Then I'll click on insert. Under here, I'll choose the text box. So I want to draw a text box inside this shape. I'm just going to draw the text box over here and I'll right click on the text box. Click on properties. Under the properties box in the link cell, I'm going to type C2. I want to link cell C2 with the text box. So after that, I'm under special effects. I'm going to click. So there's a drop down. I'm going to choose the first one. That's going to remove the borders from this, our search box. Then I'll come to close the the properties dialog box after that i'll click back on developer tab and disable design mode so right here i'm going to start with my filter function and i'm going to type filter the first argument is an array so the array will be my student's table then the second for the second argument i'm going to use a function called is number function is number function returns true if a cell contains a number so because of that we're going to nest it with a search function a search function can help us to search for a text and is not case sensitive so the first argument of this search function which is find text we're going to find that text within cell c2 so i'm going to type c2 here and make it an absolute function then we'll find it within the first name column in our table then i'll close the brackets and press a comma so for the last argument of filter function we're going to type not found so this function is basically saying if you cannot find any name within the first name column in that table just return not found so our table has been returned here so this is how this works if i start typing any name it's going to return all the name any name that contains an alphabet that i'm typing is just going to return here if i type a name that is not within this table is returning not found okay so i can come over to view tab and tick off the grid line if you see we don't have any borders for our data so what we can do is to click is to select the data click on home tab then we'll go over to conditional formatting. Under conditional formatting, I'll come here and click on more rules. So we're going to use the second one, format only cells are contained. Over here, I'm just going to tick no blanks. Then I'll click format. Under format, I'm going to click border. Then I'll select the color for the border. Then I'll have to tick these four sides to indicate that I want all borders for my, my data set. Then I'm going to click OK. 
so we now have border for our table as i'm as i'm going to type any name you see that the border is being applied to where the name is showing and not in the entire worksheet so this is how you can create a very simple and dynamic search box that you can use to search for data within your data sets thank you so much guys for watching this video if you have any question or if there's anything you want to learn about excel let me know in the comment section please like share comment and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much